Hello, good people and friends. My name is Cynthia Ayal, Chairwoman for Nisqually Indian Tribe. I am Nisqually. Brian McLeod, Kikaikum, the receiver. I am uh, the sixth chair on Nisqually Tribal Council. I'm Joe Cushman. I am the Tribal Planning Director for the Nisqually Indian Tribe. My name is Nima Motahari. I'm the Project Manager for Warmer and Associates for the Nisqually Youth and Emergency Center. Well, the Youth Center was a dream we had way back in the day. Well, the tribe has been dreaming about a building like this for literally a couple of decades. It started with a vision from the community. We had public hearings and we said, what do you guys want in terms of the building that your kids and yourself and your relatives can come and do good, fun, important things? They wanted a place where they could come and hang out. They wanted a place where they could come and study in a setting where all of, all of the tools like computers and those kinds of things were here for them. They wanted a place where they could um, meet and gather. And I think this provides a dry, safe facility for them to do that. And so we took that information and got our architect lined up, Wilmer and Associates. So how do you do that? How do you translate what elders and the tribe is telling you they need for their children? It's a metaphor. Uh, it's more than a simple youth center. That was our job. That was the challenge. Oh, before the building was here, we didn't we didn't have the uh, recreational activities for the kids. Like I raised four kids here on the reservation, and when they were kids, they called the street light their community center because that's where all the kids gathered. The message from everyone during the programming phase of this was very emotional. What I heard over and over again was, our children are out there. The phrase was, out there, and we need to give them a place. Before this building was built, I, would just, I was just around three or four kids. There was not very many people to hang out with. It was clear to me that this building uh, had to create an emotional bond with the kids. It had to be more than the sum of its parts. Just like when you get an electric tablet or a phone, you make a personal connection to it, and that's what we had to do with this building. Well, the fact that Wilmer showed up two or three times a week, if needed, as opposed to some of the people we worked with show up maybe once a month, maybe once a week, it helps because the communication factor's there. I never had an issue or a question or a problem that I would bring to them, and they didn't respond immediately, and they just didn't give me an answer, they gave me a solution. Uh, if there was something wrong, they would be over here within a couple hours. It didn't matter if it was the weekend. Uh, and they're still, I mean, this is still their building. They, if, I, if I called Nima tomorrow and said, Nima, we got a problem here, he'd be on the plane unless I told him not to. I mean, that's how it is, you know, and uh, it, it's really appreciated. If you've been involved in a team sport or a musical band, you know the incredible feeling you get when the team comes together. Win or lose, when the team works as a unit together, it is magic. On this project, the design team worked like that. Every discipline from architectural to structural, electrical, mechanical, and civil came together in such incredible harmony and unity. Working with Wilmer was excellent. They have wonderful people who came out and were constantly here, who we really felt became a part of our community. There were simply no problems, only solutions. There is a well the local municipality won't move. The civil department made a roundabout around it. Not only problems solved, but the solution was so effective, it felt like the roundabout should have always been there. That was what was good about hiring Wilmer and Associates, is they really had been through this process before. Everyone brought some magic into this, and everyone worked hard. Steve Miles in particular, one of our designers, literally gave up a part of his life to see this project through. I love that we're drawn to this building. Since it was built, the kids seem to come and come and come. We've never had a place like this on the reservation for us to gather. It's like when you start a fire, everybody just comes around to be here. When other people come here, that's all we get is compliments. Uh, this facility was basically put together, not only for the youth, but in the creation of having a shelter type thing, if you would. We had the Martin Luther King storm, uh, which basically we were without power here on the reservation for eight days. and. Basically, it was my decision to go ahead and open this, this facility up 
um, to provide hot food to individuals that work without lights. It is, it is a gathering center. We have a couple powwows here a year and they're, they're getting to be well known. We, we, you go out in the parking lot and you Alaskan plates and Idaho and Montana and Oregon plates and even a couple from California, so. Like I have somewhere to be and like I don't have to follow all those other older kids that were like getting into like gang related stuff. I've been here for meetings, weddings, working out, um, events, historical events. I've watched basketball here. Uh, just recently brought the kids here for Easter egg hunt this year. Um, Halloween parties, uh, just so many different things here. It literally feels like um, second home. We uh, have a computer room, we have a full game room, ping pong pool, foosball, we have a Wii, we have an Xbox. They also have a full court, we have a running court on top. We have a full weight room, a cardio room, we have showers for the boys and the girls. And so that's what occupies them. They, they know when they come in here, it's a clean and safe environment for them. There are no accidents on this project. From how it sits on the location, making sure it gets light, just enough light that it is, does not become a hot building, to the open stadium feel ceiling, to the large windows that make it more grand, the NBA-sized basketball court, to the columns that were worked on by the tribal members. Everything was done to create an atmosphere of awe and uniqueness. Over the years, worked with a lot of architects, a lot of contractors. Most of them very good. Sometimes you wish they were a little better. These guys are unbelievable. I would definitely recommend them to anybody that wants a facility like this. I think really it brought a whole new energy to the youth in Nisqually. The message was simple. It was the tribe telling their children, telling the next generation, this is for you. This is a place for you to grow, a place for you to go to, a place for you to call home. From our hearts, a gift to you. It was our job to make the best possible gift. It was our job to make it, when the kids saw it, they went, wow, for me? And not just go there, but take ownership of it, take pride and cherish this gift from their mothers and fathers. The, that was our job, and, and I hope they feel we got it right.